Hey guys, welcome to this next video. Uh, this is going to be a pretty cool one. Um, this is going to go over dictionaries versus lists and uh, sort of like, uh, kind of like why you would use one over the other, but mainly to show how much faster dictionaries are than lists. And anytime something makes sense to use a dictionary, you should use it. And I'll kind of show you why that is. It's way faster than a list. Um, but that doesn't mean you should always use a dictionary. Some things just make more sense to use a list. But I'll kind of show you what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to import the time module. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a list and fill it with a million things. And then I'm going to take a dictionary and fill it with a million things. And what we're going to try and do is search for uh, something in the list and search for something in the dictionary and see how, how long it takes for the computer to find each thing. And you'll see like the, the time, the speed difference. Um, so I don't know exactly how I want to do this, but we'll just make we'll make a variable called my list and one called my dictionary. And they're empty right now. So let's go ahead and populate the list with a million things. So all this is doing right here, we just this just takes that list and puts a million entries in it. And we'll do the same for the dictionary. Um, we'll just do I in range. And it doesn't really matter what the keys or values are. Um, it's just going to, they're going to be the same. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So we'll do my dictionary. And the key will just be I. And the value will also be I. It doesn't really matter. It can be anything. It'll still work for this, uh, this video. Um, so now that we have a list with a million uh, elements in it and a dictionary with a, a million elements in it, um, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll calculate the time. It f so the way a list works, uh, we have a, a chain, just imagine a million things in this list. And the way you have to locate something in a list is you have to loop through it and keep doing comparisons to check to see if you find something that matches. Um, so it might be fast if, if what we're looking for is at the front of the list, it might be super fast to find it. But say, uh, for instance, in this case, uh, 900, uh, 999,999 is the very last entry in this list. So if we're saying, hey, search this list for that number, it's going to take some time because it's got to go all the way through the beginning and then finally get to the end to find it. Um, whereas the dictionary, all we do is say my dictionary uh, put the key 999,999 because the key is, in this instance, the key is the same as the value because that's how I did it. Uh, but all it has to do is hash the key, which does take a little bit of time but not much, and then it just returns the value. We don't have to keep looping through everything in the dictionary. Um, so I'm going to make a variable called start time equals time dot time. So that gets the current time. And we'll do, um, we need to find, I want to find the last thing in the list. So for I in, for every element in my list, if that element equals the last thing in it, which is 999,999, then just break because we found it. Uh, now, once we found it, I want to do completed time. This is the time it, uh, the amount of time it took to run these three lines of code. So it would be time dot time, whatever the current time minus the start time is. Uh, so we'll call this completed time. And then we'll print uh, searching list. And it'll just, whoops. Uh, We'll just print out uh, searching list took this amount of seconds. Uh, so let's do the same thing with the dictionary. So we can kind of just copy uh, copy all this right here. Uh, this will need to change. I'll change this to dictionary. All right. So to do it in the dictionary, uh, it's just one line of code. We'll just make like a variable called value and do my dictionary and we'll search for that same number and that's how you find it in the dictionary so it's going to take that key right there hash it and it's going to return the value which is 999,999 um, and it shouldn't take any time at all my prediction is it'll probably be like 0 0.0001 second 
I'm curious. I've never done this before, so I don't know how long the list is going to take. It'll probably take a few milliseconds, but uh, I don't think I made any typos. So let's go ahead and see what this does. So it looks like it worked. So searching the list, if it had to search all the way to the end of the list, it looks like it was going to take 34 milliseconds. And yeah, doing the dictionary is in no time at all. It just says zero seconds. It was instantaneous. It probably did take... Uh, I'm guessing some amount of time, but it's it's like microseconds or something like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, anytime you have the opportunity to do a uh, use a dictionary, always use one. It's way faster to look up something in a dictionary than it is a list. Um, and you may think this well, 34 milliseconds isn't that bad, but you have to think in the context of certain programs they're doing multiple other things they might have multiple lists with thousands of things they're, they're doing all this other stuff it's not just like this program here where this is like the only two things we're doing they're having to do a lot of other stuff so wherever you can save time and uh make your program faster it is worth it um uh i mean 34 milliseconds that's uh in a 60 fps game that's that's two frames right there so um, and it's not, in certain programs, it's not unreal to have a list with like a million things in it. Um, and a lot of times, a lot of times you'll have to use a list. If it's something that has like a million things in it and you have to operate on all one million of those things, yeah, you probably want to use a list to just loop through each thing and, and do an operation on it. But if it's something like uh, a character's inventory in a game, you could make a dictionary that says like uh, the key is so uh, weapon and then the value is sword or... Uh, the key is uh, armor and the value is like leather armor or something. So th things with dictionaries that make sense to use, uh, use a dictionary. Uh, but the other things you'll have to use a list on. But this is pretty cool. I've never done this before, and uh, I was curious how how much faster a dictionary would be. Um, I'm just curious. I'm going to bump this up to like two more zeros. I'm going to see if we can get it to actually be... A little longer because it's every every digit we add on it'll get exponentially longer this one's already taken a minute so i'm curious to see what this is going to do for the the list so is that a hundred million yeah so i put a hundred a hundred million entries in the list and a hundred million in the dictionary it is taking a minute Jesus. Yeah. So, wow. Uh, yeah. So if you make a list with a hundred million things and you have to find the last thing in it, it's going to take eight seconds to find. And the dictionary is still zero. The dictionary will always be the same. It'll always be lightning fast. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, let me get, let me know if you guys have any uh, questions and I'll do my best to answer them in the comments and you have a good day.